Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra. Welcome back to part two of my equal lifestyle let's play. Last time we started off this challenge where we're trying to complete all of the aspirations with the new pack and also master the new civil designer career. We moved into our new house and yeah we just got started. So today we're gonna have our first day of work as a civil designer. Uh, we're gonna work from home. I already chose that because that is an option with this career. And last night I also went dumpster diving like 10 times and I'll show you all the stuff that I got. But yeah, Tasha is not looking too happy right now. She's gonna be tense for a while. She's also not having fun. So uh, she just got given some free earbuds. So she's listening to some music while I'm talking this through what happened. So I found some things in the dumpster. I found some dye. I found a kitchen upgrade part, an eco upgrade part. And yeah, I got some uh, recycled trash piles. We've also found like a little bit of money. Not that much, but we have 34 of those things. I don't know what they are, but I think they're used for recycling. And um, yeah, we should go die for a meal, I think. And then our today's assignment was to acquire an eco upgrade part, which we got last night from dumpster diving. We also need to check the community board. Do any action on the community board on a community board lot. And that is literally our job done as a junior drafts person. So we're gonna go walk over here and we're gonna go check the latest gossip. Okay, turn off the earbuds. Thank you. Vote to make this neighborhood a better place. We currently have 24 influence points, so maybe we'll do another vote. Ooh, someone else voted for it too. Oh my God, why is this winning? I do not want this. This is not bad. I'm voting one more time for green initiatives. How many times can you vote? But today is um, 6 p.m. is when the voting closes. I also wanted to go take a look at the community space a lot in this neighborhood of Port Promise. So let's do that next. So that would be this one right here, the waterfront. Uh, it's currently a landfill lot. So let's go over there. Let's see what's going on. Let's just go by ourselves. But that was such an easy first day of work. Like we did it in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Uh, so here we are at the waterfront. So this is the community space lot. This is the building that's here. Yeah, it's currently not doing so well. Um, there's a dumpster though, but we have a lot of trash and we have, oh, we have a home recycler. We, we need that. So the reason I wanted to come here was to see this community voting board. Voting availability Friday to Monday. Wait, that is now. We need to vote. So we can here we can vote on the community space project so i really want to do that i actually built a community garden on the channel i can link that video in the top right corner if you guys want to go check it out you can have a community garden as the community space but i think we're not going to do that for this area i think we would gain more from having a maker space so none of these have been voted for, I guess because I just started this whole save file, but this is a community space for making of all kinds where neighbors can gather to craft and recycle goods or dabble in activities like candle making, juice fizzing, fabricating, or painting. So we're voting for this thing. The other two are marketplace and community garden. Marketplace would be a good way to make money, but we're gonna get the maker space first. I don't know what's gonna happen what's actually gonna like appear here considering we're the only one who voted who is here Baco, how do you say your name i always forget but hi let's do a friendly introduction stop going through my dad oh my trash i needed that i think we can get points by like just introducing ourselves there we go four points can we convince him to support the nap or do we need to be like better friends Okay, we've been getting to know him a little bit. Other people are starting to show up. So I think I'm going to try to convince him to vote for our nap. Yeah, I don't know if I can convince him to vote. For oh, I can. Here we go. Yeah, the community space. Maker space. Um, which one do I want to convince him? I don't know if I can do either of these, but let's try maker space. All right, let's see if this works. Doesn't look mad like Lily did. We have another one listening in as well. Jules, hi, nice to meet you. 
Beanie, hon. <laughs> hey, no. I feel like that worked. Oh, yes. Yeah. I think that worked. Now we're feeling confident. <gasps> Support received. We're also choking. Yay, one step closer to making the world a better place. Well, what is happening to him? Okay. I feel like there's a lot of chaotic energy here right now. I did want to see if we can... Okay, bits and pieces. So, if bits is at the top, we have 34 bits and we have zero pieces. But does that mean we can recycle something? Ooh. So, yeah, I also got a dirty double bed from the dumpster. I think it's in my household inventory and the sink. But, yeah, we can recycle the trash pile. Um, Let's see what happens. I have never used a recycler before, but... Wait, is this part of the other aspiration? Oh, it is? Okay, I don't know if I swapped in time, but uh, let's swap over to Master Maker for now. And now uh, it's kind of scary looking. Imagine getting your like hand stuck in there. It's not good. I don't know why I'm thinking about that. But yeah, we're recycling for the first time. Just some trash that we got from the dumpster. Oh, cool. Okay, so do we get this? You received your first bits and pieces from using the recycler. Bits and pieces are used to craft items using the fabricator and to fuel water and power utility producing objects. Okay, that's really cool. Oh my god, we have 79 and 65 now. Wait, I want to recycle something else. I'll just recycle the other trash pile because honestly, I don't need trash piles. Oh, now we have 114 and 120. I also wanted to just check what uh, people have been voting for. So currently, self-sufficiency and the fun-loving community are winning. Are multiple ones going to be put in action at once? Or is it just one? Or is it four? I guess we'll see tonight at six in five hours. And then, yeah, nobody has voted for this. I thought I convinced him to vote for the makerspace, though. Well, we'll see if this turns into a makerspace. That would be fabulous. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm gonna die for meals because we're actually really, really hungry. Um, this makes our hygiene go down a lot and because we're living off the grid, we can't have long showers. We can only have these like really quick showers. So our hygiene is down literally all the time. Um, I need to find some solution to that, but currently I don't have one. And I wanna see if we can, we, we can buy one of the items that we need, the fabrication item, so we can have that on our lot. What did we find? Samosa, check your inventory. Oh, quality spoiled. Okay, can we get something better? Don't really wanna eat spoiled food. Oh my gosh, we are so dirty. I feel so bad. Okay, what did we get? A grow fruit? That's what we're gonna be eating. Okay, I guess we're gonna be at this for a while. Poor Tasha, she's actually so disgusting right now. Covered in dirt. Okay, we found a dog bone meat pie. Is that made for humans or is it for dogs? There's no way I'm eating that. Oh goodness, we don't have any other food. Well, we traveled back home even though we have no food. We need to take a shower, but look at this. Take a quick and tepid shower. I don't know what tepid means, but yeah, it's just a very quick shower. It does not make this go up unless we take like five showers, which is not great. Uh, our fun is down and we need to eat. And yeah, I think I made some tomato soup earlier but it has spoiled oh gg i think we're gonna have to take a couple of showers because <laughs> off the grid it's kind of hard if you're dumpster diving but while she's showering let's take a look at some of the new items we don't have that much money we have almost two thousand simoleons i would not be surprised if they cost more oh here we go store no more home fabricator it's 1.8 thousand simoleons that is all of our money candle making station is only 550 and then here we have the dew collector which we need one of these things um to be able to get excess power or water for our aspiration and then we have the home recycler maybe we'll wait and see if the area is turned into a makerspace tonight at 6 p.m because then pretty sure i would have a lot of those items like the fabricator so we don't need to buy one for ourselves all right she's gonna cook some veggie burgers and listen to some music hopefully we'll get her in a better mood because we're not doing so great i think she took like three showers which is not the point of living off the grid but i am not gonna have her walk around all dirty all day hopefully this food turn out yeah normal let's grab a serving of that we don't even have a fridge to put it in how sad is that 
We can't even like reserve this food anywhere. All right, we finished our food. We have 30 minutes or like 30 seconds before uh, it's 6 p.m. I'm wanting to vote one more time, but she is walking very, very slowly. Oh, here she comes. Can we vote really quickly, please? That would be great. I wanted to convince some more Sims, but it does not seem like we have the time to do that. So I'm gonna vote for this. This is our last point. So currently this has six points, this has six points. Um, Self-sufficiency has eight and fun-loving community has seven. So if we get four, those would be the four that we get. So um, let's just make sure we have this up here and yeah, we'll see what our neighborhood voted for in just a couple of seconds. I wonder if anything changes instantly. All right, it's 6 p.m. Here we go. Voting is now closed. Self-sufficiency received the most votes from the community and will take effect immediately. Voting reopens Friday? Oh, I only had a day to convince people. We only get one thing. Are you serious? Now we can check the neighborhood action plan. So one thing. So currently, fishing, gardening, and handedness will give us increased influence as well as a sense of accomplishment. So I guess that is something we will be trying to do to get more influence points so that next week we can actually get the nap that we want. I do want to now travel back to the, um, what's it called? Community space to see if that changed as well. <gasps> Look! Wait, it looks different. Oh my goodness. Is this? Yes! Oh my gosh, we have the maker space, guys! Wait, that's so cool! I'm so happy we did that just in time! <gasps> Someone's painting up here, that's so cute! Who are you? Recycling Guru Blossom Greenberg, nice to meet you! Okay, look at this place! Wait, this is actually fantastic there's so many things that we can do now so we have the fabricators we have is this the fizzy yeah the fizzy maker i can't see what it's called we have the candle stations okay this is great what is she doing is she bored anyways for our fabrication we need to start fabricating things so fabricate what can we make currently an end table, a bookshelf. Let's make a bookshelf that will help us in our house to gain more fun because our fun mood is down all the time. Um, we don't have any dyes. The only dye I found was the hound's tooth dye. I don't think I want that on a bookshelf. So I'm just going to create the regular one and that costs uh, 50 bits and pieces. No! Girl, that was our fabricator machine. Oh my gosh. We might as well recycle something while we're here. Let's recycle the food because we don't need this um, spoiled food. I really like this. This is a really lively place. Um, we have people doing woodworking. We have Brent here. And then we have the painting, as you saw. And then all these stations. I might build oh, one of these cool. maker spaces as well. So I did the community garden and I think it would be fun. Okay, girl, please, it's my, my turn. Oh, what am I doing? I'm scrapping her fabrication. Sure, she kind of quit midway through it so yeah why not all right let's see how this thing works Ooh, it's very modern it's like a touch screen i don't know how she knows how to use this but we'll see what happens and uh, it's kind of like a 3d printer i think okay oh. oh oh goodness my camera i'm so sorry it's being like me inside here are people watching us are we getting like friendship points from this Oh look! She's doing the candles! Okay, great! I want to try everything. We're currently focused? Making with a mentor? From being mentored! Are you mentoring us? Oh yeah, Vivian is a maker mentor. Wait, that's really awesome. This takes quite a while. I mean, we're making a whole damn bookcase, so I'm not surprised. Okay, great! We are a maker, so we find joy in making things on the fabricator. Oh, and all the other stations as well. Uh, the finished fabrication can be found in the household inventory. Look, one out of three. We made ourselves a bookcase, making materials. Okay, awesome. Whoa, look how high our friendship just went from just her mentoring us. Can we say hello to her and like thank her or something? We got influence points. Thank you so much. Let's uh, discuss our shared interests. And um, ask for what? Ask for juice fizzing tips. Sure, why not? 
Acquired the juice fizzing skill. Okay, that's the other skill that comes with this pack. So I wanted to try to make a candle, but it doesn't seem like we can because we don't have wax blocks. And um, I thought maybe you could click on this to buy them, but that doesn't seem to be an option. Okay, so I don't know how to get the wax just yet. Maybe we need to have one of these on our own lot, but now that we don't need to buy a fabricator, we could definitely buy a candle making station at our home lot. So it is 11 p.m. So I'm going to go home and um, maybe buy a few upgrades for our house. And then that's going to be it for today's episode. It is dark here, isn't it? Um, let's see the bouquets that we made. Also, I really want it to be better lit in here. But I realize we can't have actual lights because um, we are off the grid. But here we have our bookshelf. Where can we put this? Right here. Um, our beautiful fabricated bookshelf that we can't even see because it's so freaking dark. Um, we have this uh, double bed. Um, I feel like our bed is better. <laughs> oh goodness. But wait, oh, let's do this. Duh, we're in build mode. So that's our bookshelf. It looks very empty. How do we get books? Do we need to buy books? Maybe. But let's now buy something that has a green eco footprint. Oh, off the grid. What do we have in here? Oh. Let's go over here, uh, off the grid. Okay. I also wanted to like plan a couple of things because it did say gardening would give us more influence points as well as fishing. How much is that's expensive? Let's buy two of these or no, we'll buy one of these so we can plan four things. Uh, I want to have a little planter over here. Does it fit there? Maybe we'll put it out at the front. Okay, but basically we need solar panels or wind turbines. Solar panels are cheaper, so I think that's what we're gonna go for. So let's buy one, um, put it on our roof. <gasps> Yay! Okay, you can choose the color as well. We'll do green solar panels. I think that looks good. Um, let's see how much that is um, creating for us, how much power. I don't think it's creating any right now because it's uh, nighttime. But if we take a look here at our bill information. Okay, so we're currently making none because it's nighttime. It's solar panels. Solar panels need sunlight. So I guess I'll take a look at this again tomorrow morning. But Tasha is going to go to bed. Um, I'm probably going to buy some seeds and plant them here so we can start on gardening between episodes. And yeah, I think I'm really happy that we got the maker space now in today's episode. We finished our first day of work and we're already um, halfway through this um, first part of the master maker aspiration. So I think we're doing pretty well. I definitely will play in between parts as well. But let me know what we should do in the comments down below and give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy today's part as well. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you can notified when I upload the next part. But yeah, that's all for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! This time I'm